प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू आई फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज रवि वेलकम टू फ्री ऑनलाइन टेक वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सीपी कमांड CP command is used to copy the files and directories from source to destination within the system. So, if you want to copy a files from one source to multiple destinations, or the one source to destination, or the files from one location to another location within the system, you can copy files using the CP command. How CP command works? If you simply do a CP okay let's go to source directory in the source directory i have some files if you want to copy these cp i want to copy a file to destination okay destination is here so you can simply say copy and go to destination path and verify that there are some files okay let's delete all the files here and uh, now copy the file from source to destination now we'll check it up in the destination there is a file like this you can simply copy a file from one source to destination okay one location to another location if you want to copy or if you want to archive the files with preserving the all the uh, properties of the files you can simply use cp-a which will preserve all the uh, properties of the file which means that uh, timestamps and uh, permissions and um, the ownership of the files okay context of the file all the stuff but iPhone A uses not an copy, it's an archive. So archive is different than the copy, which archive will keep the content, like the content verification before copy, before copying. So which means that which will verify the file timestamp, file size, okay, when created, who created all the stuff that related stat properties will be captured using the iPhone A and it will copy to the destination. So here I am copying the B file to the destination with the iPhone A option. So what is the difference here with the A option and the without A option is so if you see here iPhone A iPhone so we copied A file and B file right see so if you see a file which is created March 28 to 12 and the a file timestamp has been changed here I did not use any preservatives in the sense I did not use any preserve options here that's why it's copied with the new time so this file also is created on the same day but the time is different but B if you see here what is the source file has the same file has with the destination also so that is the difference between this normal copy and if you use an iPhone a option okay so here you can use iPhone iPhone backup okay which makes a backup of each existing destination file so how it makes the backup let's see that so I'm editing a file called B here okay so I'm adding okay not B so maybe you can um, edit C file which is not already copied okay sorry C file so here I'm adding copy command testing text something like that so I'm just making some uh, content here so I saved it okay what I'm doing now I'm just copying that using the simple method I am not using any option here source C file to destination okay the file has been 
copy it. Again, I'm going to edit the file. Okay, I'm making some changes here. Changing file content and save the file. Now, copy using the backup option, iPhone iPhone backup option, and copy the same file source C to the destination. So the file has been copied, but what happened to the previous file on the destination? It taken as a backup. So which makes in a sense the destination file as a backup before it creates the same file on the destination folder. You can see that this is the backup file which is added with the symbol this cat this is the file actually okay so why how we have to use that one is like, like this so that is the sorry the file is on destination so here is the file this is the previous file so current file is this one so there is a text change right so this is the change has happened and this is the previous file so if you want to not sure that the existing file the destination the same file name is exist on the destination you can use iphone iphone backup so what happens here is that if the same file name is going to be copy on the destination it's going to be make some backup on the destination site so with the copy command we have uh, if you want to copy only the file attributes not the file you can use iphone iphone attributes only attributes a t t i r b u t s only so which makes which not copy the file actually which copies the attributes of the file okay so and i'm copying the d file to the destination so not like this actually so we can edit the content here of that destination because to see that the file will copy or attributes will copy okay some text random text i'm just adding here okay and uh, save this file uh, copy now with the attributes only iphone iphone attributes only now provide source path and destination path enter now go to source path and verify the file and go to destination path and verify the file see what is the difference here so the source file has some data like 340 something kb it has the data but destination do not have any data see destination do not have any data so what it is copied it's copied the exact the attributes of the file you can see that the attributes as it is okay and the ownership is as it is and the date stamp is as it is okay like that it copy the exact attribute from that file so it does not copy the file okay if you want to copy content like if you want to copy some special file content to the some of the destination files you can use the copy content method example like uh, copy iphone contents and uh, example password is an a special file slash it is slash is an a password is an a special file you can use like this so which will copy the special file content only in the sense it will not copy the attributes of that file it copy the only content of that file so if you want to copy that file attributes you can use the attributes and apply to that file so the same file will make it as a slash it is a slash password like that okay copy command also has some option called iphone l 
iPhone L will make hard links. Hard links in the sense, instead of copying the file from source to destination, it makes the hard link. Let's see that source from source I'm just copying e file to destination. So here I have the both the files in the source and destination. If I update the source file here, what happens? It updates the destination file also. Okay, that is the hard link. Example testing something like this. Now go to the destination E, the content is there, and go to the source, the content is there. So after this, I did not copy any data here. So I just edited this file and added some data. So if you append this data, so let's example say that like append to this file. Now go to see this file, the file also is going to be append. So both the files are going to be append. That is an, a hard link which is going to be placed instead of copying the file. So if you delete this file also no problem. So the destination will be as it is. So like that. So if you make some multiple copies of that important content, if you delete one of the file, so the second one also will be there for you. Okay. One more option is that iPhone P will preserve the properties of the file same like the iPhone A also works in the same way but here iPhone P can give the what you wanted to preserve example iPhone iPhone preserve what you wanted to preserve whether you want to preserve the mode you want to preserve the ownership okay or you wanted to pressure preserve timestamps or you wanted to preserve context in the sense sc linux context okay you wanted to preserve links like soft links hard links okay and you wanted to preserve the attributes of the file are all so like this you can provide any options from that so that from the preserve it will makes only that whatever the option you provide that will be preserved to the destination okay as of now we see like copying the files if you want to copy some directory you can also use like uh, uh, example source in this I have some directory I wanted to copy this to destination so if you copy like this what it will be omitting directory so you cannot copy the directory using direct command so what you have to do you have to use the recursive option iphone r to copy the destination from source i want to copy dir to destination so like this you can copy the directory to the destination we can use like this if uh, example if some files is existing on the uh, destination side you wanted to remove that file before copying it you can also use iphone iphone remove destination there is an option called iphone iphone remove destination this will will use like removing the destination file before it copies so if you want to make some uh, uh, soft link you can also use uh, copy even s and provide the path of the source which one you wanted to make okay and uh, destination path so which will make the destination path like this oh there is no e file so there is a a file i'm just uh, linking up to the destination symbolic only in current directory can make the relative symbolic links only in current directory like that you can use the symbolic link to make iphone copy iphone s so it will make the soft links okay example if you have some backups already uh, as i use the cp iphone iphone backup option to make the backup 
So instead of using the um, this symbol, okay, you can use some options. Example, LSF and LTR. Just see that destination. What are the files are there? So here we have this tilde symbol, right? C tilde. Instead of using the tilde, you can use some numbers, or you can also use some other things to replace that backup files with the some some names or numbers kind of stuff. Okay. Iphone capital yes. Example, I wanted to replace with two as a source backup file like this backup file okay to the destination what happens so the same destination file is going to be made with the c2 which is the backup of the c file cat okay i'm just missing the path here c2 see this that is the content of previous file if you see that is the C file that is the difference between the normal backup and if you wanted to add some extension to that override and the usual backup suffix you can use capital S okay example way in the source if you updated the content you wanted to update the destination without uh, uh, moving the uh, without overwriting the files or something like that you can use CPF and U and uh, provide the source path and provide the destination path which will update the content which will update the content example if you wanted to update context sc linux context or if you wanted to update some apply some sc linux context you can also use cp and capital z and provide the source path okay and provide the destination path which will update the sc linux context sc linux context can be seen using the z option see this this is the sc linux context so if you use iphone z which will use by default context okay here user home was user home is there if you copy the same content the same a file to the slash tmp which is going to be add a different context and the tempo file see user tmp that context will be changed whenever you use the cp and capital z if you want to see cp's command version you can simply use cp and f and version the version currently we are utilizing the core utility is 8.22 this is about the copy command thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask